Seeing a small ship pulling a ship that is much larger might raise the question, why does such a small ship not sink when pulling a giant ship that weighs hundreds of times more? See this small ship pulling a ship that weighs hundreds of times more. The answer lies in a combination of physics principles, clever ship design, and measured operational techniques. Let's start by understanding the basic principle that underpins the tugboat's capability, buoyancy. To understand why tugboats do not sink, we must go back to the basic physics principle discovered by Archimedes more than 2,000 years ago. Archimedes's law states that an object floating in a liquid experiences an upward buoyant force equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by that object. In other words, a ship will float if the weight of the water displaced by its hull is equal to or greater than the weight of the ship itself. This principle applies to all ships, including tugboats. When a tugboat is in water, it floats because its hull displaces enough water to balance its own weight, including the engine, fuel, and crew on board. Interestingly, the weight of the giant ship being pulled by the tugboat does not directly affect the buoyant force of the tugboat. Why is that? When a tugboat pulls another ship, the force applied is a horizontal force, not a vertical one. The buoyant force of the tugboat only depends on its own weight, not on the extra load from the ship being pulled. In other words, the tugboat does not carry the weight of the giant ship like a truck carrying a heavy load. Instead, the tugboat only provides a push or pull to move the large ship, while the large ship continues to float based on its own buoyancy. This is the first key to understanding the stability of the tugboat. To clarify, imagine you're pushing a stalled car. Even though the car is heavy, you're not bearing its weight. You're only giving it a horizontal force to move it. Similarly, the tugboat provides a horizontal force to move the large ship without adding any vertical load to itself. Now, let's look more closely at how the tugboat works when pulling a giant ship. Towing operations typically involve a towing line that connects the tugboat to the ship to be moved. This line is usually made of strong materials such as nylon or steel and is attached to a winch or hook on the tugboat. When the tugboat starts moving, its engine produces a pushing force that is transferred through the towing line as a horizontal pulling force. In towing operations, several main forces come into play. Horizontal pulling force. This is the main force provided by the tugboat to move the giant ship. This force is produced by the tugboat's engine and propellers, which can reach tens to hundreds of tons of pulling force, referred to as bollard pull in maritime terms. Bollard pull is the measure of the maximum pulling force a tugboat can generate when the towing line is attached to a fixed bollard. Vertical buoyant force. This force remains constant and depends only on the weight of the tugboat as well as the volume of water displaced by its hull. As long as the weight of the tugboat does not change, its buoyant force remains the same, regardless of how large the ship being pulled is. Drag force. The giant ship creates resistance because of its size and weight, but this is overcome by the tugboat's engine power, not by sacrificing buoyancy. This drag force depends on the ship's speed, the whole shape of the ship being pulled, and water conditions. Let's elaborate and expand our understanding of the forces involved in the action of a tugboat pulling a giant ship, horizontal pulling force, or bollard pull. At the core of towing operations is the horizontal force generated by the tugboat. This force comes from a high-powered engine that drives the propellers. The propellers push the water backwards, creating a reaction that pushes the tugboat forward. This power is transferred through the towing line to the giant ship, pulling it horizontally. The magnitude of this pulling force, known as bollard pull, is very crucial and is measured in tons. Modern tugboats have a bollard pull that varies, from tens of tons for lighter tasks to hundreds of tons for pulling giant ships such as oil tankers or container ships. Bollard pull is the primary indicator of a tugboat's capability, and selecting the right tugboat for a towing operation greatly depends on the required bollard pull. Vertical buoyant force. Every object that floats in water, including tugboats, experiences an upward force called buoyancy. Archimedes' principle states that the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the water displaced by the object. In the case of a tugboat, its buoyant force is balanced with the tugboat's own weight, so the tugboat remains afloat on the water's surface. 
It is important to note that this buoyant force is vertical and is not affected by the horizontal pulling force provided by the tugboat. This means that even though a tugboat pulls a giant ship with great force, its buoyant force remains constant as long as the weight of the tugboat does not change. This means that the tugboat's ability to float is not disturbed by the towing task. Drag force. When the giant ship is being pulled through the water, it experiences a drag force that opposes its movement. This drag force is caused by the friction between the ship's hull and the water, as well as by the formation of waves around the ship. The magnitude of this drag force depends on several factors, including the speed of the ship, the hull shape of the ship, and water conditions, for example currents and waves. The tugboat must overcome this drag force in order to successfully pull the giant ship. This is done by using an engine that is strong enough to generate a pulling force greater than the drag force. It is important to note that the drag force does not affect the tugboat's buoyant force because the drag force is horizontal, whereas the buoyant force is vertical. Because the pulling force is horizontal, it does not add any vertical load that could cause the tugboat to sink. As long as the tugboat stays within its design limits, both in terms of engine power and hull stability, it will continue to float stably. This explains why tugboats do not sink even when pulling ships that are much larger. The forces involved are in different directions. Other factors affecting towing operations. In addition to the forces mentioned above, there are several other factors that can affect towing operations, such as weather conditions, strong winds, high waves and strong currents can complicate towing operations and even endanger the safety of both the tugboat and the ship being pulled. Then, water depth. The tugboat and the ship being pulled must have enough space below them to avoid running aground. Lastly, the tugboat must be able to maneuver accurately to control the movement of the ship being pulled, especially in confined spaces such as harbors. There are several methods by which tugboats tow ships, that is, stern towing, in which the tugboat pulls the ship from behind using a towing line. This is the most common method and allows good control over the direction of the ship being pulled. Then side towing, where the tugboat is positioned beside the ship being towed, often used for maneuvering in harbors. This method requires better coordination to prevent girding. Then pushing, in which the tugboat pushes the ship from behind or from the side, which is useful for ships that have their own steering systems, but require additional help. Although the physics principles explain the basic stability of tugboats, the design of the ship itself plays a big role in ensuring that it can perform heavy tasks without issues. Some of the key elements are powerful engines. Tugboats are equipped with high-powered diesel engines that generate a strong pushing force relative to their size. These engines are usually efficient and reliable four-stroke diesel engines with output power that can reach thousands of horsepower. For example, a 30-meter tugboat can have an engine with power between 2,000 to 6,000 horsepower, depending on its operational needs. This power is measured in units of bollard pull, which shows how many tons of maximum pulling force can be produced. For instance, harbor tugboats usually have a bollard pull between 20 to 60 tons, while deep sea tugboats can reach 100 tons or more. Tugboats are also equipped with advanced propulsion systems. Many modern tugboats are equipped with azimuth propellers or Voith Schneider propulsion systems. Azimuth thrusters are systems in which the propellers can rotate 360 degrees, allowing the tugboat to move in any direction without needing to change the ship's orientation. Voith Schneider propellers, on the other hand, are vertical systems that allow very precise control over the thrust force. These systems provide extraordinary maneuverability, which is very important when working in confined spaces such as harbors. With the ability to turn on the spot or move sideways, tugboats can direct large ships with high accuracy. The tugboat hull is also designed to withstand significant pressure, both from the towing line's pulling force and from harsh sea conditions. High quality steel is often used to ensure structural durability. In addition, the tugboat hull is usually thicker and reinforced in critical areas, such as the front and sides, to withstand impacts or pressure when pushing a ship. The hull design also takes into account hydrodynamic stability, ensuring that the tugboat can operate efficiently in various wave and current conditions. Tugboats also have a low center of gravity, thanks to the placement of the engine and fuel tanks at the bottom of the ship. 
This prevents the ship from tilting or capsizing easily during operations. In addition, the design of a wide and flat bottom hull also contributes to lateral stability. Other important elements such as winch equipment, hooks and towing lines are designed to withstand extreme loads. Modern winches are equipped with automatic control systems that can adjust the tension of the towing line in real time, preventing overload or the line from breaking. The towing line itself is made of materials such as high-strength polyethylene or aramid fibers, which are light yet very strong. The combination of these features ensures that tugboats are not only capable of pulling giant ships, but also remain safe and stable during the process. In addition, the latest innovations in tugboat design include the use of hybrid or electric engines to reduce emissions and improve fuel efficiency, showing the industry's forward-thinking adaptation to environmental needs. Let's look at a real-world example of towing operations. In 2019, the cargo ship Icon of the Seas, one of the largest cruise ships in the world, weighing over 200,000 tons, was launched from a shipyard in Finland. This ship was assisted by several tugboats to move from the dock and into open sea. Although the tugboats used were much smaller, each about 35 meters long, they managed to move the giant with precision. Icon of the Seas is 1,197.5 feet long and 157.5 feet wide, with the capacity to carry over 5,000 passengers. In its launch operation, four tugboats were used, two at the front and two at the back. Each tugboat had a bollard pull of about 80 tons, which collectively provided enough pulling force to move the cruise ship. The tugboat captains worked together with the harbour pilot to ensure that the cruise ship moved safely through narrow channels. Constant communication and precise coordination were very important to prevent the ship from deviating from its course or colliding with harbour infrastructure. According to Captain John Smith, a veteran in towing operations, pulling a ship as massive as the icon of the seas is like moving a mountain with a rope but with the right technology and training, we can do it safely and efficiently. Although tugboats are well designed, towing operations are not without risks. One major danger is girding, which is when the towing line pulls the tugboat from the side, causing the ship to tilt or even capsize. This can occur if the giant ship moves too quickly or if the tugboat is not positioned correctly. So why do tugboats not sink when towing giant ships? The answer lies in the combination of a simple yet powerful physics principle, specifically Archimedes' law, and clever ship design. The horizontal pulling force does not affect the tugboat's vertical buoyant force, while features such as high-powered engines, sturdy hulls, and a low center of gravity ensure stability and strength. Coupled with skilled operational techniques and strict safety measures, tugboats become indispensable tools in the maritime world. This blend of time-tested physics and modern engineering shows how even the smallest vessel can have a massive impact, safely moving giant ships through our waters.